and recording. Hello fellow YouTubians, my name is Terry Andrews Jr., also known as the J5 Guru. So this is uh, uh, part two, I guess. I'm going to examine the actual pouch cells now, um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure, uh, I, I'm going to kind of test this to see if there's any kind of, you know, uh, current behind this low voltage. I measured it before and it was, uh, I think, it, I believe it was 0.556 so about half a volt. So I'm just going to very carefully here uh, clip on. And, okay. No sparks. Yep, no sparks. Uh, check the voltage. Uh, Yeah, because when I'm cutting this apart, I don't want this thing to. Yeah, it's. What's it at now? Wow, it's in the millivolt range. Boy, that little bit of shorting must have really. Is that right? Short the probes together. Yep, good there. And, uh, yeah, showing 377 millivolts. So it's <laughs> shorting it together pretty much just took any residual voltage right out of there. There, yeah. Wow see what it is now and now it is what is it 302 yeah so let's see if we can see so I'm gonna hold this up here I don't know if this will show up on camera see a slight discoloration in the center I don't know if that's normal. It also looks a little brown right here on the tape. Um, I don't see any discoloration there. But yeah, there's a definite sort of almost rectangular shape there where it seems like it's discolored. So let me uh, see what's going on here. We'll open it up and Oh, well, look, see. And I should add, it does appear as though every single tab is, uh, is attached. So it's not like any of these became detached. Uh, so, yeah. So there I can see some definite sort of, I don't know if that's normal or not. I'm sure the folks at BLS are looking at, will be looking at this video trying to figure out what the heck went wrong there. Uh, so I'm going to cut these tabs up here. Uh, let me see. Shut my meter off here. There we go. we all learn something together and hopefully they'll be nice enough to to write back and uh, just you know for my curiosity you know basically let us you know let us know what their uh, engineers or, or whoever you know is in charge of this sort of thing what they think might have happened um, so please just go down along like that Oh, oops, here we go. Okay. So there we go there. Seems like it's wet up in here, but then it's dry down in here. 
maybe this is the maybe that's the dry side I don't know so let me uh, open this up these layers here maybe they need to kind of see that this stuff is actually evaporating pretty quick So I'm just going to run through this here. I don't want this video to go too god awful long. This is going right into the trash can, by the way. Uh, just in case any of you were wondering. Hopefully this is in frame. So apparently that stuff that had, was in the can was the electrolyte, would be my guess. I don't see any physical there's nothing here so far that's jumping out to me nothing obvious Nothing like it, it overheated or anything like that. Okay. Nothing there. Don't see anything there. Nothing there. There's nothing that's jumping out. So there's that one. So uh, this is the one that had kind of the rectangle kind of shape here. Um, we'll see if this one. Come on, come on, open up. There we go. Okay. Yeah, this one here. Huh. Yeah, it's, it's definitely discolored. Again, I've never taken one of these apart. I don't know if this is normal or not. But uh, that definitely looks like something might have happened there. Let's get that off of there. Yeah, we can. Yeah, we can kind of see some. See that. Looks like something might have happened there. I'm, I'm not sure what. It's just on the, yeah. Okay, so you can see the, the bottom two and then the upper two. So it's almost like the these out this outside layer. Oh, what's that? Or did, did that happen when I opened it? A little something here. Yeah, so I'm seeing a little, this copper showing through on that. I don't know if the rest of it is kind of, I don't know how well bonded this is supposed to stay to this. So that, that appears as though that, this might have broken down here. There again, I don't know. Maybe, you know, be able to review it on camera. Maybe I did that on folding it, but I don't, th I don't think I did. So we'll go through the rest of it here. Oops, here we go. There's 
you know, the rest of it. it seems like it's okay. It looks like maybe the electrolyte. I, I don't know. <laughs> we'll let the fine folks at BLS Battery give us their opinion as to, to what might have happened. Um, Yeah, so let's go back to the other end here because this here, yeah. So, this, yeah, this I don't see any discoloration here, but at the other end, let me get back to it here. So I think this might be the, the culprit area. Seems like something definitely happened there. I'm not sure what. Yeah, it, it looks like, I don't know, maybe it just dried out or something, and who knows? Who's to say? So, BLS, uh, yeah, um, there you go. Doesn't appear to be a manufacturing defect, per se. Everything, all that it was, you know, was spot welded well, it was constructed well. It appears to be something in the actual, uh, maybe the fabrication or the electrolyte or, or something of the actual, you know, cell itself. So, all right, that's about it. Terry Andrews Jr., J5 Guru, saying bye for now. And as always, the monkey pushes the button. Yay!